your bowl of cereal just got a little more interesting. This past Saturday, the cereal bowl made its debut with over 20 different kinds of cereal, a variety of fruit, oatmeal, yogurt, and of course, toppings. I got the uh, pumpkin spice oatmeal, and it's delicious. Free samples and UD welcome customers to the grand opening of the cereal bowl on Main Street. It looks delicious. I may never make breakfast again. <laughs> Owning the first franchise to open a store, Linda Busaka is excited about this new trend. Well, basically, you walk in the door, and we have all our cereals on display, as you can see up behind me. Um, you can select your own cereals, pick two cereals, two toppings. We call that a creative bowl. Or you can select any one of our signature bowls that are basically creations that are made up already. The Modern Design Cafe has flat screen monitors that play anything from local news to cartoons, plush seating, and a menu that includes more than just cereal. And we have it all day long. It's not like it's just for breakfast or just for lunch. We also have a frozen yogurt line that you can put cereal toppings on your frozen yogurt. Customers can choose from a variety of different toppings and options at the cereal bowl. But are prices going to be an issue? I thought it was going to be more expensive, actually. So, it's not bad. It's not bad prices. It doesn't bother me. I like having stuff made for me. It makes life easier. I actually expected it to be more, like these prices aren't as bad as what I thought they were going to be. So. With a small bowl of cereal being $2.99 and a regular bowl about $3.99, Busaka is not worried. Oh, but I say is you can also make coffee at home, but everybody goes and buys specialty coffee at Starbucks or the many other coffee houses. So it's kind of the same idea. It's a fun, it's an experience, it's more than what you can get at home. The cereal bowl also prides itself on being green. The fact that we're very... I guess like green or energy conscious, like the bowl is what, 85 percent is uh, some kind of sugar cane byproduct, 50 percent is post-consumer recycled content. Along with the bowls, the store uses mostly energy efficient appliances and sells fair trade coffee. For Delaware News, I'm Julie Wigley.